the short presentation on hearing protection use for a toolbox meeting. First we're going to look at earmuffs. Um, they, they are better, better protection than earplugs, but they can be uh, have some detractions, particularly in summer weather, especially where you guys are working in the mill. So they can be hot and sweaty in the summer, they can be a bit heavier, and they're also a bit harder to use with some safety, safety equipment, particularly glasses, sometimes they might not seal properly. So we need to make sure that um, uh, when we have our earmuffs, a couple of things, we want to make sure that we don't modify them. So we don't want to be bending this headband out to make it a little bit more comfortable to wear. Uh, they need to be they're, they're designed with a certain amount of clamp force from the manufacturer to make sure they get the protection required. If the, um, the vinyl cushions around this area here get cracked or they're not soft, we need to either replace the earmuffs or get a whole uh, or get a, a hygiene kit, depending on what your um, your safety guys or the store does. So um, if that's the case, talk to your safety guy. Uh, they need to be stored correctly, so we don't want them to be in the sunlight. They uh, can get a lot of UV damage and they will wear out a lot quicker. So try and keep them out of the sunlight when we're not wearing them. Don't modify them. Some people will uh, drill little holes and put their iPod wires or some music in there so they can listen to music on the job. We need to make sure that we're not doing that because we might be keeping out 100 decibels from the saw, for example, and putting in 110 or 115 from our, our music. So we need to make sure we're not modifying them. Okay, how to wear them. So reasonably simple with the, the earmuffs. We need to make sure that um, when we've got them on, sit them on our ears and then Press the band down so that the weight gets taken by the headband, not by the earmuff. So when we're in the noise to make sure they're working properly, we want to press them against the side of our head like so. If the noise level doesn't alter, it means that they're working well. Sometimes we might have a problem with sealing around here with, ear, with uh, eye protection. So um, if we're not getting a seal, we may need to get different sorts of glasses or go for earplugs instead. Um, okay, so. Let's have a look at earplugs. So we're not going to get as good a protection. Generally class 5 earplugs up to around about 28 to 30 decibels. So still from in, in the workplace with the sawmill, uh, they should be well and truly adequate in all areas. Uh, a little bit harder to get in and out quickly. Um, we need clean hands to put them in. So we don't want to be having greasy hands and then rolling up, putting all that grease and stuff into our ears. We can cause infections and that type of thing. Um, so they're obviously a lot cooler in the summertime to be wearing um, with disposal. We want to make sure that when we're finished with them, we throw them in the bin. We don't want to throw them in the ground because there's nothing worse than a workplace with earplugs scattered all over the place. All right, how to fit them. So, all right, so the, on this little picture here, the, from the outside of our ear into the eardrum is about 25 mil on an adult male. Most of our earplugs are generally around about 12 to 14 mil long, so um, we need to get the whole earplug in our ears. So short of getting a, a pen or a stick and jamming them in, they're, they're not going to cause us any damage. So when we roll them up, too often we see the people just roll up the end of the earplug like so and pop it in their ear and they'll think that it's doing the job. Um, when we've got that much of the earplug coming out of the ear, it's going to do very, very little. So what we need to be doing is roll the entire earplug up all the way along, so when we let that go, that's going to hold its shape for quite some time. So we want to roll that all the way up, pop it into our ear. Now we might need to pull out the ear flap up or back or down, depending on the shape of your ear. But we want to make sure that goes all the way in. And we're just going to hold that there with our thumb while that, while that expands. Usually take about 15 to 20 seconds and it, and it should get a good grip. Again, once we're in the noise and we've got both the earplugs in, we want to Press our hands over our ears like this, and if the noise level drops or we, we hear an air noise coming in, it means that they're not working properly. We need to readjust them to make sure they're, they're in our ears properly. So once we've been out on the work site for a couple of hours and we go off to brew, we want to take these out. We don't want to just pull them out because they might cause a bit of pain. So what we want to do, or what, what actually happens in the ear canal here, this little space, the, the cells will actually use up the oxygen and we end up with a bit of a vacant or a negative pressure inside the ear canal. So we just want to give that a bit of a wiggle up and down and you'll feel it pop, a bit like when you're going down a hill in a car or coming into land in an aeroplane, that air pressure will get in past the, the edge of the ear plug and um, it'll release and that'll just pop out. So they're one use only, so don't put them back in your pocket and then after brew, put them back in again. They need to go in the bin and get a fresh set each time. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you very much.